Good morning, Cougars. This is Emma and Kendall. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Homework Club meets Tuesdays in Miss Morgan's room and Thursdays in Mr. Simpson's room after school. Quidditch Club will meet this Friday from 3.15 to 4.15. Check in with Mr. Bonner in room 130 by the auditorium. 7th grade boys basketball will have an optional conditioning practice in the gym each Friday in September, 6.30 a.m. That's before school. These are not tryouts. It is an optional workout. See Coach Bonner with any questions you may have. What made you want to be a principal? So I was really interested in working with students and um, making um, a difference, I guess, on kind of a, a broad global level. Um, so instead of just being in one classroom and having an impact on those students, being a principal allows you to kind of have an impact on the entire school in general. What's your favorite part of being a principal? The interactions with students and staff, definitely. Just getting uh, to be around people each day, um, interacting with educators that truly care about helping students and growing students, um, and then interacting with, with students in general, and just finding ways that I can um, help make their educational experience better. And why did you pick up a mess? So that's kind of a long, strange story. I was a principal in Illinois and uh, was kind of stagnant in my position and was looking for um, a change, I guess. And so as a family, we decided to pick a couple areas of the country that we thought would be cool to live in and have the different activities that we like to do in terms of outdoor activities. And so this opportunity came available um, and I applied for it and was lucky enough to get the job. So that's kind of how that happened. <laughs> what did you do before you were a principal? So I was a teacher um, and a coach. I coached um, high school boys basketball. I was a varsity uh, head football coach. I coached girls track and I coached some youth sports as well. And in terms of teaching, um, I taught ELA at the junior high and high school levels. I taught um, humanities, I taught speech, I taught American government, and I taught driver's ed. What do you like to do in your free time? So in my free time, um, I like to exercise and work out. I go to the gym. Um, I like to do a lot of the different outdoor activities that this area has uh, available. So mountain biking, um, hiking, um, I snow ski, and this year I'm going to try to learn how to snowboard. I tried it a little bit at the end of last season, and it didn't go so well. So I'm really <laughs> going to work on that this year. Um, and then lots of stuff to do with sports, so watching sports, um, playing a variety of different sports, doing fantasy sports, um, and then being involved in my kids' activities as well. What is your goal for this year at FMS? So our goal for every year is to enhance students' educational experiences, to try to grow students as much as we possibly can academically, uh, but then also incorporate that social emotional piece. So building relationships um, and helping students um, have more agency in their learning so that you take more ownership and are empowered as a learner. That's kind of a goal across the board um, for us specifically as a building. Um, it's on workshop model and furthering our implementation of the workshop model in classrooms. Do you have anything else that you would like to add on to? I just want to thank you for the opportunity to do the interview and say that I hope everybody has a great 2019-2020 school year. Seventh grade A, B, and C volleyball girls are having their next home game tomorrow after school at 345. Come support our food at Cougars. And don't forget to sit on the right side of the bleachers.